So I can't believe it, I cooked a steak using only the sun. Some people will never get tired of eating steak, but I love experimenting with different methods and trying new things. And recently I saw that Meat Cranium Barbecue in Review did a video where he cooked the steak using only the sun, and I knew I could do it just a little bit better. So I told him my idea and he said to run with it. Today I'm gonna sous vide the steak and then sear it using only the power of the sun. And since GTE is all about helping you become a pro with cooking with fire, I couldn't think of a better thing to use than the biggest ball of fire in the solar system, and that's the sun. And most solar ovens work a lot like a hot car by trapping in the heat, and so I figured why not reinvent the wheel and just use a hot car to keep that sous vide water warm. I don't know if it's leather seats, but my truck is always really hot, and I figured it'd be the best place to warm up the water. I put it in first thing in the morning to take every advantage of the sun and let it heat up throughout the day. Now I've never tried this before, so we're gonna see how it turns out. I can never settle on just one type of steak, so I got the T-bone, which comes with two. My favorite is the New York Strip, and Mrs. GTE likes the filet for its tenderness. And I didn't get fancy with the seasoning and stuck with a good amount of kosher salt and even more fresh cracked pepper. Next, we're gonna seal it up for its water bath. It was nearly 100 degrees today and I checked the temperature of the water and it reached 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a little low for sous vide steak, but I was still pretty happy. I knew the steak wouldn't care and I put it in the water to let it cook for two hours in my fancy truck sous vide. The worst part of sous vide is how unappetizing it looks fresh out of the water. We need to sear it. Most solar ovens are more like crock pots and aren't well suited to sear a steak. I checked mine and it reached 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way lower than we need for the Maillard reaction, but to be fair, this one wasn't made for cooking. It's my cold frame out of the garden. To fix that problem, I'm going to use a Fresnel lens, which if you've ever fried ants with a magnifying glass, it's the same idea. You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. Using the Fresnel lens is a bit of a learning curve where you try to take all of the light that comes through the lens and focus it at a very small single point. You have to get the angle of the lens just right and the right distance from the meat. But before too long, I had it hot enough to sizzle the fat and made a bit of smoke. But here's the problem. It'll take six bajillion years to sear the whole T-bone, and the lens big enough to do it well was going to take two months to arrive. It's not the best sear you've ever seen, but considering the tools I had, I was really happy with it. I cut it off the bone to get a closer look. So I can't believe it. I cooked this steak using only the sun. Let's give it a taste. This method gave a really tender steak, but I wish that I could have gotten a better sear. It was lacking a little bit in flavor, and I also miss that smoky goodness that comes with cooking it over a live fire. And since most of the energy on the earth comes from the sun, using wood or propane isn't really cheating, is it? 